That gets my goat? Really? Uh, it's been a long time getting from there to here. Yeah? Uh, it's been a long time since we've done uh, That Gets My Goat. How long? A long time. <laughs> it's October. Uh-huh. And September was kind of a remarkable month for you because you're now a woman. Yes. Snip, snip. I finally did it. Handsome woman. <clears throat> no, uh, you made a goal the 1st of September, and to all of our astonishment, you achieved your goal. Do we, would you like to share with the three listeners of That Gets My Goat what happened? Sure. That? There's actually only one listener of That Gets My Goat that didn't already know all about this. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but yeah, um, all the way back in August... I go to, I do CrossFit workouts with this person that lives down the street from us. She put a gym into her garage. She had it all retrofitted or whatever you would call that. She did it all up to be a a, a gym. Put in some pull up bars and got a rowing machine and some some weights and stuff like that. And so I go and do that with her. And for in in August, she decided that we were going to do a food challenge. And this food challenge was for 30 days in August. I was not supposed to eat any sugar or any carbs. I wasn't supposed to eat any dairy. It was a pretty intense food challenge. And I managed to, with a few very minor cheats, make it the entire month, 30 full days, without breaking any of that. And you know what kind of an accomplishment that is for me because, I mean, what, we just came back from the gas station because I was overtaken by the munchies, so we had to go out and buy a donut from the gas station. Lunchy munchies! One second ago, we just walked in the door and then sat down and started recording here. So I'm a freaking pig, and I managed to accomplish that. I managed to go a whole month without uh, any serious breach but it was a hellish month, was it not? It was difficult, but it wasn't hellish, I wouldn't say. It, was, uh, it wasn't too bad. There was a lot of good things I was still able to eat, and I uh, ate those things, and I lost like 15 pounds in a month. And now one of your favorite meals is celery and water. It is. But anyways, so after doing all that, I thought, crap, man, if I can do that for a whole month, I can easily do some other things for a whole month. I could set myself a challenge for something that I want to do, and yet I'm always too lazy to do. And I bet you I could achieve that too. And so I decided I was going to, for the month of September, write every day for the month of September. So I set up this goal. Just write your name, write a sentence. And I figured I would write 500 words. Ah! 500 words is five times what Nathaniel Lee writes a day. Wait, is that true? Uh, I think it's just five times a drabble and three times a matey. But uh, it's not a ton of words. It's If you were to sit down and really put yourself to it, you'd probably do it in a half hour or less. So it's not an over-the-top kind of an accomplishment, but just making yourself do it every day for 30 days is something I just don't do. I can't. I would say almost that I can't do, but I know I can. That's right. I can't do it. I'll say it. <laughs> and yeah, it's something that you could do too. It's something that anyone could do if they just put their mind to it. And so I decided in September, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my mind to it. There's a story that I've been saying for how long have I been saying? I was going to write that, what, like six months? I've been saying, oh, yeah. The mirror have, story? Right. I, I have a story that's uh, kind of like that one that you also wrote. And boy, I'm going to write it sometime soon. I and I think, kept... yeah, in April we had this conversation. <laughs> and, you know, by May I had written mine. And Yep, and here I was in uh, September, still hadn't ri- written it. So I finally said, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write this story. And uh, I started with that. I wrote 500 words a day and uh, finished a story within, it was probably less than two weeks that I finished the first story. And I started planning for the next story that I was going to write, and uh, I wrote for 500 words a day. And there were a few times where I just utterly spaced it. I completely didn't even think about it once the entire day. And then I realized at the end of the day, holy crap, I never did my writing. And there were a few times where I realized that, and I made myself sit down and do the writing, even though I was dead tired and it was 1130 at night. 
and I had to work in the morning and so on and so forth. I still said, no, you got to do it. And so I made myself do it late at night. I, I think there was one time where I left here at like 2.45 a.m., and you sat down and made yourself write the 500 words before you would allow yourself to go to sleep. Yeah, I think I did do that one time. And that your was... wife found you <laughs> collapsed over the keyboard, <laughs> and there were like 400,000 Zs had been typed on. Well, and, was... uh, you know, the irony was that the Z key was what had hacks it back. Uh, I was catching some Zs. Oh, wait, that's not go. irony, is it? If, if, if it were anything but the Z key, it would be irony. Or Oof. something. I don't know. We're just going to have to change that definition. Somebody's going to say, okay, it, it no longer means what it used to mean. Yeah, there was a few times that, yeah, I made myself... St- there was a couple other times where I just said, oh, screw it, I'm too tired. And I went to bed and I just said, okay, tomorrow I will write a thousand words instead. And, I and forced, you did it. I forced myself to write a thousand words uh, more than once. It was like three or four times that I had to do that. It got to the point near the end where I was doing that like writing a thousand words every other day instead of writing 500 words on any day. And so the last two days I said, okay, no matter what, I am writing 500 words today and 500 words tomorrow. I will force myself whatever it takes. But yeah, I managed to do it. After 30 full days, I wrote 500 words for every day of September. And I wrote one full story and most of a novelette more than 7,000 words into this second story that I'm writing and uh, I'm probably three or four scenes from being done with it when September ended I actually took a couple days off it was the weekend so so I think I'm gonna and you told your wife let me know when September ends that's right wake me up wake me up sorry it's that simple a a joke and I couldn't But yeah, I took the last couple of days off and then tomorrow I'm going to get back and see if I can finish up that story. I'm going to keep writing 500 words, but now I've got a new challenge that I'm setting for myself. And I don't know how long I'm going to keep this crap up. But after the 500 words for a month, you had written more than 3,000 words. Uh, I mean, if, if my math is correct. I had, yeah. In the month of September, uh, maybe even close to 4,000 words. And so, wow, that's... that's. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I did, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I wrote probably as many words in September as I'd written the entire rest of the year. And some years in the past, I've probably written less words in the entire year than I wrote in September of this year. And basically, my point was to try and kickstart myself into doing that. Because like we've said on the show dozens of times at least... To become a good writer, you got to practice writing. you got to work on writing. And all the times that we sit here and say, oh, I, I never get my story accepted when I send it off. Well, of course not. I never practiced writing. How would I get it accepted? I don't even try. You didn't even try. And so my point was to make myself finally do it. And if I wrote that much, you know, pretty soon, I'll get good at it. I'm not sure what I'll do exactly for October. My my plan is I, I got a new challenge set up for myself, which is to take all the stories that I have and submit them somewhere. So every day in October, starting tomorrow, I will submit a story. I read a, a blog post not too long ago that talked about making sure not to self-reject your stories. I read you know, that too. Don't decide your story is not good enough for a particular magazine and reject it before you even send it there. So I'm going to start with the biggest magazines first, the biggest places that it can go, and work my way downward as they get rejected until... Clone pod. (laughs) Until wherever it ends up. We'll have to see how that goes. I I figured I'd take some of your stories and uh, submit them for you as well. Some of the ones that I said months or years ago that I would... I'll submit them out to places, and, and I'm going to start annoying you until you give me other stories that you have been uh, hiding, and uh, I'll submit those as well. But on top of that, I have to keep writing my 500 words. And I think You're going to continue to do the 500 words I, in addition to the submissions. I am going to continue. I might let myself go down to maybe 250 for the days that I am submitting, if, if that's a problem, because I know you do have to format your manuscript to the manuscript format and I need to go through these stories and make sure that they are you know that there's not typos left over in them and stuff like that which will take me a little bit of time 
How many stories total would you say you have? I mean, unless that's something you don't want to share. Well, I went through actually today because I was writing up my blog post that would be about this new challenge. And I looked at all my stories and counted them up. And I would say probably 10 is about all I've got that are ready to go. Ones that I would submit. Maybe 12 if you could count reprints. Ones that uh, that you already saw have already been somewhere, mostly on our own show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I considered thinking maybe I should send those out somewhere else and see if they'd want to do it too. I, I would think so. You you could say this has previously appeared on right. Well, maybe not. I, is that no? There's places that, that do go- reprints. Is that gauche? Is that uncouth? I mean, we do reprints on our own show, as long as it hasn't been podcasted before. Is the only thing that we uh, don't want. So. I know Escape Pod and even Drabblecast has done re-podcasts of stories that were already podcast before. So, you know, there's places for it. But yeah, that would give me maybe 12. Maybe if I looked at some... I don't know if I want to go so far back as like 2002. Oh, let's see, is this story one that I want to send out? But well, Wait, why? What, what was wrong with the story you wrote in 2002? Is it because you've had nine years of practice between now and then and you've gotten better that's what i was thinking yeah i would hope that i've gotten better since then but maybe not i don't know well Um, hey let's stop talking and come back next week and continue talking about this because i there's something i wanted to ask you okay maybe it won't even be seven days maybe it'll be five days that i'll post this (laughs) Okay. All right. Well, since you give it to me to post, it'll be like two weeks, actually, because I'll just let it sit on my computer for a week doing nothing. You horrible taint. It won't even be October anymore. <laughs> okay. So we'll see you next week, folks. Good night. That Gives My Go is produced under a Creative Commons 3.0 license. Apparently, the creative in Creative Commons doesn't mean anything. It's October now. Yeah. And uh, you want to just talk in the regular show about your goal for September and all that happy crap? No, crappy? I can talk about that, but I figure we do it a separate show, not this one first. Let's do the talking of October right now, just since I brought it up and I farted. Uh... And I'm still farting. Where was your involved sensibility then?